What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, just ordered this on Amazon. It's actually, I believe, from the same company that I just checked out that lantern. And sunlesa.com. And it comes like this, and it's another light, I think. And I wanted to check it out. It has a, has a built-in strap on it. And then it has kind of this, you know, soft, hard case. And zipper it all the way around. Let's just go ahead and open up this bad, bad boy and take a look at it. Ooh, it's a tight fit. There we go. And do look at that. I feel like this is like a toolkit. So you can see the top and bottom portion here um, are like two halves. You have some netting and a place for storage. We also have oh two lanyards. So you can clip this onto two ends and then that clip in the middle. So that's actually very similar to that other lantern. Just pull these apart, just like a compression clip in there. So that's cool, you get that. You also get a micro USB cable right here. Looks like it's pretty long. And then, uh, this is what was kind of interesting, and I'm not that familiar with it, but it's like an, a remote control for this particular light. Looks like power, white, red, and looks like I just pulled this out to activate the battery, which I'm gonna do. So we'll take a look at that. And then there's an elastic strap holding the light in here. I'm just gonna pull it out. And it looks like we also have paperwork, manual, which I may or may not have to read, because I'm so smart. Me is intelligent. Me know how to read. Uh, apparently I don't know how to get things out of a plastic bag though. Let's see, oh, okay. Well, there's one of the issues was this metal bar is in plastic and it's, it was attached here because there are magnets. So that was kind of confusing me. Now this should just fall out. And there we go, boom, look at that. Got the light out here and it's pretty, pretty long. I mean, I feel like it's lightsaber-ish size. And then we have this uh, Sun Blazer logo here. We have this kind of three-sided metal you know, back housing. We have two plastic caps. It looks like there are little rings, metal rings on the end. Um, same over here, called the handy light. Looks like we have the power button on this side. And then on this side, we have the micro USB port for charging it up with a little silicone plug to kind of make it waterproof, water resistant. Then we have, uh, looks like a plastic polycarbonate uh, frosted lens and Looks like maybe, I don't know, maybe a sensor or something up there. And then obviously, as you can see here, magnets on the back. Not sure if the magnets are here. Nope, they're up here and right there. So you can put this bar on it, which you can also take that those lanyards and hook them up to the, this, the, the two loops here. Um, I feel like this is useful for kind of clipping it to cloth. Like if you wanted to attach this to the top of the tent, you could put this bar on the outside and then stick it up there and it would kind of stick to cloth. So that's kind of cool. Now I'm gonna just hit the power button here and looks like the battery definitely has some power. It's kind of glowing lightly here. If I tap it again, man, now it's starting to get, now it's starting to get pretty bright, right? That's not, not dim. Um, in fact, it's starting to look kind of dark on the camera because it's the brightest thing in the room. And if I hit it again, off. So on, high, and off. And um, now I know there must be red somewhere because there's a red button. Let me just see what the remote does here. Okay, so this little guy right there is the infrared sensor, I believe. So if I put the, the light out there and hit on boom goes on looks like i can control the step ups on the white which is pretty cool so just like that i mean that's pretty nifty and then if i hit this red boom we go into like an emergency mode sos in red if i hit it again looks like we get a very dim it kind of almost looks like a like a space heater or something red and then just a solid red beam on and then back to SOS. Then I can go back to white, and then I can turn it off. So that's pretty awesome. So what I would say is that this is gonna be pretty cool for 
like I said, kind of making it more of a permanent fixture, hanging from a tent, hanging your campsite, hanging it above a table, and then using the remote to quickly access it, especially if this is kind of high, you know, like the big, uh, you know, uh, eight foot or six foot tall tents, you know, that are more just for, um, you know, hanging out under as opposed to really using for shelter, you can certainly kind of add, you know, like a chandelier light really to it. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm pretty, I think that is pretty clever. Man, you know, when I was a youngster camping, we didn't have all these goodies. Our camping was more rugged than that. So, let's see how this thing lights up a room. All right, guys, so I'm in my dining room, and I have a chandelier hanging above my table here. It's perfectly dark, except for the appliances that you can see. And uh, because the chandelier is metal, the light actually sticks to it. Now I'm going to hit the remote. It's I'm holding it right in front of me. And boom, look at that. It's just like controlling light, which is pretty awesome. And uh, now look at the table, which we couldn't see there a minute ago. I mean, this is perfectly usable, especially, like I said, if you're outdoors or camping or something like this, this makes it, you know, really convenient. And I can even go, let's see, lower. And even that, I think this would be great for kind of hanging out late at night without disturbing other people in the campsite. And let's hit the red, helps preserve night vision. And especially on, you know, this red is actually decently bright. I mean, I could play cards or something like this uh, in this light. And obviously if we hit red again, it's gonna go to SOS and then also um, kind of that really low light. Now this is pretty, this is pretty light. I would actually say that from a, you know, a standpoint of using the light, you'd have to either be really close to it, but it could also be just nice for, uh, like I said, maybe an emergency, putting it into, um, on the rear shelf of your car if it's, you know, disabled just to kind of show uh, people that there's a car on the side of the road or using it as a signal for your campsite so that people, you know, can go out and use the loo at the trees and have a light that uh, orients them back to your campsite or something like that. But let's go back here to the white. I mean, that's, that's really awesome. I totally dig the idea that this is magnetic, can stick up on things. You can leave it in place. You don't have to go fumbling for it and find the switch on it. You can have a remote so you can control it from wherever you are. Pretty awesome. I dig this thing. Uh, I'm just going to put a link to it uh, in the description. I got this one on Amazon. But, you know, if you're looking for a little bit more glamping instead of camping, man, this is the light you want to take. Peter Von Panda out.